Hey everyone, so this morning we are doing a quick photo shoot for Mr. Carl Perry and um, we're just going to kind of jump right into it because we kind of uh, pressed for time. So y'all get to see some of the, uh, what you call it? <laughs> I guess the, the blue, not blue, but what do, you, what do you call the, I guess the back office? So, yeah, I don't know. Get to see how it goes. So. So we have our Sony A7R3. We have a 2.870, I'm sorry, yeah, 2.870 to 200 G master lens. We have our DigiB by Paul Bluff, and we have our battery pack so we can move around. We don't have to be in one spot. Now I'm gonna have to take a few test shots to get ready um i'll have you go against that wall over there since that one's kind of clean shouldn't have much editing to do I'm bringing the power of it up. I can actually do it remotely. So my aperture is f8. Uh, one two fiftieth of a second. I don't need to be that high. So I'm actually going to put that in. So about 100, I think that should be fine. ISO 100, and we'll do our first test shot. Now, do you want the background like really in focus or not in focus? Uh, like you want to kind of blur. Both ways. Okay. How about that? All right, we can do that. So, so since you want it both ways, we, to get it really in focus, I'm gonna shoot at a fairly high aperture. We shouldn't have too much bokeh. Looking pretty good. Alright, now with the bulk of that, we're gonna drop the uh aperture down to 2.8. And what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you step forward. made a bit of adjustment on the aperture so I'm also gonna go up 
on my shutter speed. It's about two fiftieth of a second now. Because when I went down on my aperture, obviously it's going to make the picture brighter. Um, if you're familiar with the trifecta ISO uh, aperture shutter speed, you change one and it changes the other. Alright, um... Like how it blurred out, but you got a you got the light cutting it. So step forward a little bit more, a little bit more. All right. I don't look there. Let me get one of you uh, doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. With this on this pole. Alright. Let me do it from this way. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really blown out. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna bring our shutter speed, let me see it, way up. It was this one up. Yeah, it, I don't think they're gonna do it. So typically, we're going to underexpose the background, but because we have the light, the overexpose. Well, not overexposed, but it'll expose him fairly normally. Alright, so uh, that was the first set of shots that he won in a jumpsuit. Now he's going to go ahead and change into his uh, suit and I'm going to take some, some more shots. Um, but, you know, just as having a brand is good to take photos and things like that because in this day and age, we're all about social media. We post to Facebook, Instagram. Everything is about, you know, digital. So it's good to have some shots that you can use for Facebook posts, Instagram posts, all those different things, all those different forms of media. And you know, right here, we can do several different shots and he can use it uh, for the next quarter, or however long he wants to use it. You know, and he doesn't have to worry about going and trying to Google where to get pictures from or 
stuff like that. So, you know, he has his own personalized pictures. And uh, fortunately for him, he's a graphic designer, so he can actually take and edit them the way he wants them edited. Um, we can edit them for you, but, you know, he likes to edit his own. So uh, that's a plus for, for me, less work. <laughs> but, um, yeah. All right, start it. Hey y'all, so we've been working on uh, playing with gels, rather, and we got some nice lighting. So, uh, bring it around here. So I don't have another set of barn doors, uh, not barn doors, uh, gel holder. I didn't put the barn doors on there yet, but if you come and sneak a peek, we just kind of have it sitting there, right? You know how it was, I guess, intended to be, but uh, we actually have the bone. I mean, I keep wanting to say bone door double. We need to stop that. We have the gel holder right here, and this is going to flash, right? So I can probably show you guys a glimpse. I'll put the modeling light on. And if you come over here, it will be the full shot. All right. So we're going to put our model right here in front. So that he blocks that, right? So go ahead, call. Mom, mom, and call. So we had a little bit of an interruption, sorry. Happened. We're gonna get right back into it. So as I was saying, I'm gonna line our model up so that he blocks the actual device. Come on, yeah, we're about right there. Perfect. I'll show them. Okay. Like it's not showing. Now I'm gonna maneuver as best I can so that I do not see. the light in the back at all and that's the actual shot we got China oh I'm sorry oh that's nice oh look tap to focus so that's the shot we got and I'll post it of course a little bit later in the video Now I want you to go back because mm -hmm. I'm going to bring this forward a little bit. Okay. in the background. So all right. Too much for oh that's hot. Now see I'm gonna I'm gonna take that plug out. Right. I'm I'm gonna use some of that for some wording. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm gonna hook it up. 